David Oria, after a man said, he collected 7,000 from APC and still voted for PDP. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The video has reacted to a viral tweet from a netizen who said that he collected 7,000 naira from the All Progressives Congress APC and still went ahead to vote for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the party his uncle, Ademola Adeleke, is contesting under. A country Twitter user identified as Olaoye Feremi too, he was offered the sum of 7,000 naira in Ikiri Oshi State and he willingly collected the money, then proceeded to vote his choice candidate, Ademola Adeleke. Reacting to the tweet, the video, who has been active since the morning, retweeted while leaving some images of love, which shows that he's quite impressed by the development. I also recall that OBO, as he is also fondly called, took to his Twitter handle on Saturday morning to rejoice over the fact that people are rejecting money being offered to them by the opposition party. So far, Oyetola and Adeleke are the main contenders in the election as people are still casting their vote. The twist goes to Gustos. At the video, they offered me 7,000 naira in Ikiro and Ocean State, and I collected their money and still vote for Imole. Okay, the, the second point here is that um, <laughs> these people actually did as I have been saying I would do. If I have come outside to cast my vote any of the election day, come next year, God willing, God keeping us all alive, and you bring money, say, make I vote for you. Sincerely, this is exactly what I'm going to do. It's very, very... Ah, ah. After all, I did not come to meet you. You came to meet me, sincerely. The way they've been breaking their heart, we're going to be giving them some of what they have been giving us. Huh. This is what is going to happen to in presidency election. We will take APC and PDP money and vote for Labour Party straight. Yes, yeah, so God will enter Nigerian mind <laughs> so that they can continue like this. Because fear God. If it is true, they will not live to enjoy the money in, in Jesus' name. Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh my goodness. Are you? Are you playing? Huh. APC how market. Can I see here? Emilio Con, I've been money don't finish. Make them bring money for me too. Can you imagine? The truth about it is that a whole lot of people are weak. Had it been. Uh, uh, uh. Had it been the APC government, had it been the APC government, they actually uh, uh, um, did well. I tell you that, and this uh, uh, was called the APC candidate in Oshie State that the present co governor actually did well. I don't think this would have done. He would have bought their mind. You understand? Because we all know what happened in in Oshie State 2018. 2018, the election was held. And at the end of the election, PDP, they said, according to them, they said PDP actually won, but it was rigged in the favor of the old progressive. And this person now, that is their sitting governor, you know, that is a sitting governor, not the governor-elect, you know, he he rigged himself in. And you know, so that rig you put there. Somebody went on saying they there. What he would have done is to at least try and, you know, get these people's trust. Get the people to trust you. Get them to believe. Get them to, to believe that you're actually there for their sake. But no, the reverse was the case. You can only feel all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time. But you cannot feel all the people all the time. Don't mind these hypocrites. Can they swear that the PDP too didn't buy votes? They're all in the game and they will cry foul when I'm smarted. That is just it. But I like it, and that is why I'm always saying APC, PDP, these two parties, they're actually the same. Nothing more, nothing less, no different. If Nigeria be like Oshun, people, if Nigeria be like Oshun people, Nigeria could be a great country. Come legacy election and president's owner, so I go collect APC money, and I know go vote for them. Well, my own happiness in all of this is that the people have woken up from their slumber. They are no longer the people of, you know, I don't come outside because even if I go queue, I go queue for sun, I'm dying, I go vote finish at the end of the day, my vote no count. So I am really, really happy that we are, we are 
we are now trying to come and practice what I call inclusive politics. And I'm hoping that it is not just in state elections, that in any election, be it councillorship, be it governorship, be it senatorial election, be it uh, um, speaker, house of speaker, state house or national assembly, that we should all come out and, you know, cast our vote, you know, practice inclusive politics and all of this and make sure we pick competent people across the country. My reason for saying this is because if one competent man is picked at the center alone, it's still going to be difficult for him to influence others. But if at the end of the day we pick competent people who come in with the right mind to serve, then whatever plan they have for Nigeria, whatever positive growth they, have to, they want to bring in to Nigeria, whatever policy that is going to affect us positively, it is going, they are going to start, Nigeria will start getting better faster. That is just it. That is just it. Well, uh, this is a sky reminder to those who are uh, yet to do their PVC. I think PVC collection is still going on. I think so. If it is still going on, this is, you still have the time to do the PVC. You still have the time to do the PVC. You still have the time to do the PVC. And after doing your PVC, the thing that is left for you to do is to ensure... You evangelize about your candidate. If you're quite sure that your candidate is the best candidate for the election, you evangelize, you talk about your candidate. You keep telling people the benefit of voting your candidate and, of course, what your candidates have to offer. And come 2023, we should make sure we stand up to and vote. And like I said, the sweetest thing here is that people actually came out to vote. I think there's a particular local government that actually came out and after voting, they stood there I need count their vote, and after I need count their vote, I need pack their things to leave. The ANEC officials in that particular polling booth, and they were like, you are not leaving, you, you have not updated your result. And uh, the INEC officials told them that they don't have data, you know, that they have to get data. And they're like, no, no worry, we are going to stay here, and you're going to on, on our hotspot, and we're going to give you data, and you're going to upload their result right in front of us. See, I am very happy that this is, for me, this is the first time I am saying we Nigerians behave in this manner. And I'm just hoping that it not, does not even stop in 2023. That consequent elections and elections to come, all at once with the forefront, we go fit, you know, come out like this, practice inclusive politics. And this does not, this lies now will not start. It does not quench. That we continue to practice inclusive politics going he forward, henceforth. It is going to help us. It's going to help us. It's going to it is going to help us a lot because at the end of the day, it is during voting like this that will come out and give the person that is competent and credible and uh, capable a mandate for him to come and do what he said he would do, which is the best for Nigerians. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen, and until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.